So welcome to Zero Entire. Today I am going to share one more video in the field of geology. So that is the physical properties of the minerals. So in this video I am going to share what are the different physical properties of the minerals which are very very useful to identification of any minerals. So there are different properties. So minerals are nothing but the naturally occurring inorganic chemical compound having definite structure and predictable chemical composition that is the mineral. When such type of mineral we have to identify, then on the basis of every mineral has its own definite chemical composition and internal atomic arrangement. So that is the mineral. So therefore the atomic arrangement and type of bonding between mineral atoms are effective in shaping the shape of or outward morphology of that particular mineral is depend on these factors. So these physical properties control the certain extent of features of that particular mineral. So sometimes may, may be mineral ultra due to air, water, rusty. So therefore whenever we are uh, going to tell or uh, we are identifying some minerals so that mineral should be a fresh sample of that particular mineral is generally used and in that way we have to collect unaltered mineral space samples so thus to identify such minerals physical properties are very very helpful in identification of minerals so there are number of physical properties so number of physical properties includes that is the color streak luster cleavage fracture that is form or it is also called as habit then tenacity specific gravity luminescence radioactivity magnetism so these are the specific gravity so these are the different properties of the minerals so in this video i am going to share one by one what are the different physical properties in a descriptive manner with practical uh, purpose also so first property we will take that is the color this is the first physical property of the mineral that catches the eye of the observer whenever students are going to observe the mineral the first property catches by the eyes of the students as well as observer of the students that is the color then the color is important as well as imparted to the mineral because of certain color wavelengths of light sense to our retina in our eye there is a retina when light is falls on the surface of the mineral some light reflect on the eye in the eye that is the retina is there and on the basis of the retina we feel the sensation of that particular color this is the simple phenomenon if some mineral is looking black suppose this is the mineral we can see that this is the turmeric it looks like a black because what happens it reflects or it absorbs all the lights it doesn't reflect any light so it absorbs so due to this we look it is black we will take another specimen so this is the talc this is another mineral what happens it reflects white light on other color light it absorbs that's why it looks that is the white color there are different minerals there are some transparent mineral is there so this is quartz transparent variety of the quartz in this what happens some light are reflect and some light are that is the uh, refracted due to this phenomenon it is looking like transparent so this is the entire game of the light so on the basis of this we can uh, say that which type of mineral is there which color of that particular mineral plays very important role then next important that is the play of colors when we see the diamond or uh, uh, other mineral that is the cerussite it may use variety of colors due to change
change in the angle of incidence of the light and due to this we can see a phenomena like play of colors that is due to the interference of light. There are other some minerals are there. This is a called a that is the amethyst. Purple color it is also called as violet color. There are other minerals also there. For example, uh, if we see soda light, it is generally gives blue or green color. Some soda light is there. If any mineral is there, and in that mineral, some impurity of soda light or sometimes chloride. Due to this, the color of that particular mineral changes. So, due to the impurities also, mineral gives different color. There are also some minerals which shows different color. For example, we will see this is a this is a gypsum. It gives white color. This is called a that is a magnetite. It gives black color. This is mineral that is a kaolin. It gives white color. So this is the muscovite. This is a looking a. Uh, pearl like color this is a, that is a biotite it gives black color so every mineral has a different color there are also some mineral which having different chemical composition but color is same in that case the color is not important property there are for example graphite having shining black or greasy uh, color talc this is a talc this mineral is called a tau and having a white color. There are some kyanite. Suppose this is a kyanite mineral having a blue color. So these are the diagnostic colors of some minerals. There are some varieties of quartz having same chemical composition but different colors. If we see quartz having green color, violet color, uh, yellow color, pink color or sometimes uh, white or pink also. So, this is because of the that particular mineral reflects that particular light. So, some minerals have unusual color combinations such as bauxite which have a patches of white, red, yellow, brown and sometimes violet also. So, each and every mineral have a different color. Some minerals having the same chemical, chemical composition but different color. So this is the entire aspects which is depend on that particular composition as well as the reflection or refraction of the light. This is the first property in physical properties of the minerals. Then second property we will see that is streak. Streak is nothing but the a color of the powder of the mineral. And in that case, what happens? The powder is produced when. So this is a mineral quartz. Acts. This is mineral quartz tar. The powder is produced when a mineral is gently scrapped. So this is the steel plate. This plate is called a steel plate. It should be unglazed and when mineral is scrapped across it, this porcelain plate or this is a street plate, it gives color and it is generally pale shade of the body color of the mineral in its compact form. There are certain minerals have strikingly different states. Their own body colors it becomes a diagnostic property for identifying them some minerals from other same, same colors. For example, we will take two minerals. So, this one is the biotite and other one that is a, this one is the muscovite. Both having different body colors. But when we observe this one, the muscovite when we rub or scrap on this porcelain plate, it gives white powder color. 
and this is a biotite when biotite is cut on this plate it is used also uh, it is black color mineral but streak is white so in this way the streak is very very diagnostic property if both mineral having same color body color but streak is different in this case this streak is the very very diagnostic property for identifying those minerals suppose gold is there this is a gold this is not natural gold so this is purified gold so when gold and one other mineral that is a chalcopyrite both having yellow color how to identify those minerals but when we gold scrap on the streak plate it gives yellow streak whereas when we scrap chalcopyrite it gives different color so for example chalcopyrite gives greenish black and gold gives yellow so lusher lusher is the second property physical property to identify any mineral so this property of mineral is related to the reflection and diffraction of the light from mineral surface it is independent of color of the mineral it is defined as the appearance of the light appearance of the mineral in reflected light and is a, a measure of shine of the particular mineral so lusher is again grouped into basically two types so first one is the metallic and other one is the non metallic we will so we will uh, see metallic what is metallic lusher so metallic lusher the name itself suggests it is characteristics of metals uh, surface the name itself suggests is characteristic of metal surface for example mineral sign like galena pyrite gold right? these minerals are strongly absorb light visible light so therefore it produces a brilliant appearance on the surface so this is called a metallic lustre generally those minerals having opaque nature light can pass through it and having dark streak and reflective index also uh, three or more than three those minerals having generally a metallic lustre native minerals also having a uh, such type of non metallic lustre some sulfides also falls in this category also some minerals are exhibit somewhat less metallic lustre those are called as sub metallic lustre for example the minerals having refractive index less than 3 that is in between 2.4 or 2.6 to 3 for example hematite magnetite silomela these are the minerals so this is the uh, magnetite which shows that is the sub metallic lustre then we will see non metallic lustre this non metallic lustre again classified into different uh, type of lustre so what is non metallic lustre so non metallic lustre is generally light colored minerals and transmit light to a certain extent those mineral shows non metallic lustre the streak is either colorless or very light in color the non metallic minerals is grouped into basically the seven types we will see one by one so in non metallic first lustre that is a vitreous lustre when we see broken surface of the window glass how it looks if the mineral is looking like that if the lustre of that particular mineral is looking like that it means that the mineral having vitreous lustre for example quartz tourmaline those minerals having vitreous lustre it means those mineral having refractive index in between 
1.3 to 1.9 those minerals are are fitting in cluster for example uh, some uh, rock salts oxides hydroxides of aluminum and magnesium those minerals use in this cluster if uh, those minerals have a refractive index somewhat less than uh, uh, tourmaline or quartz that is the less than 1.3 also show some vitreous structure for example calcite and uh, we can say that augite those minerals have sub vitreous structure this is regarding the vitreous then pearly luster if the mineral is exhibited by the pearls like luster then it is called as pearly luster for example muscovite it use very good uh, luster like a uh, pearl so therefore it is called as pearly luster muscovite so this is the mineral called as muscovite uh, then silky luster it is a luster exhibited by silk fibers and minerals which are crystallized in the fibrous habitat or habit or far commonly shows silky luster for example asbestos is the very good example of uh, having silky luster the third one is the resinous luster in resinous luster it is a luster exhibited by the uh, resin for example sphalerite that specimen is not available here so I, therefore i can't show you so sphalerite having a resinous luster because it looks like a resin grease luster the mineral luster is exhibited by the grease line the oily appearance similar to the thin oil coated on the surface of that particular mineral for example uh, graphite having a greasy luster then adamantite it is hard brilliant luster that like that of a diamond because such type of luster is called as adamantite luster it is due to high refractive indices of the minerals for example cerussite and diamonds gives uh, brilliant luster of adamantite luster then earthy or dull luster so this is kaolin this is kaolin mineral it mineral showing the luster possesses dull or earthy for example uh, kaolin or chalk or we can say that swipe how swipe gives luster those luster is called earthy or dull luster with this i stop here the remaining properties of minerals physical properties of minerals we will see in second part of the uh, uh, our lecture thank you